So we're going to see a Cowboy Bebop movie. Um, and from what I remember reading, they've already cast Spike. And Spike is going to be played by Keanu Reeves. Now, in my eyes, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little eh on that, you know. Because even though I like Keanu Reeves, cool. I mean, and him playing Spike, he's going to have to get back into the gym. He's going to probably, he's going to have to find somebody that is a practitioner of Jeet Kune Do, the style the great Bruce Lee created, because that's what Spike uh, is a practitioner of. Um, and, I mean, if he pulled off the Matrix well, but even in the Matrix, I was still waiting to hear him say, dude, and dude, whoa, and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so... Basically, I'm a little on edge about this. A little bit. Because I love Cowboy Bebop. And in my eyes, Spike did not die. Uh, he just passed out. That's my picture on the end of the, the, the last episode. Um, and that's what the creator wanted, wanted fans to basically say. Oh, did Spike die? Or did he survive? Or he's, he just passed out because he's tired. And that's how I pick it, put it as... He just passed out. Um, what I also know is that they're doing, they are, and I've showed this, that they are making a, an Astro Boy. And it's a 3D animation. And see, that's what I thought the DB, that's what, in my eyes, that's what the DBZ movie should have been. An animated movie. Not a live action. Some, some stuff from, from anime shouldn't be touched. Stuff like that shouldn't be bothered with. Don't touch it. Don't bother with it unless you're going to do it right. And let's say they, they, they failed on DBZ. Um, okay. My opinion on movies like that, do an animated movie, something like that. Um, and Ash Boy is another favorite classic. And, and Jap Japan brought some of its animes over here in America. Um, and I remember watching it on... Um, uh, TV here in America and I enjoyed the anime I thought it was really interesting but it, it was a very sad anime because here oh, oh Astro Boy wanted was a friend you know and unfortunately he was always thrown into battles against tougher robots than him um so we, we, I gotta see how this is gonna go out but like Zip I give everything a chance you know that's my view of everything give it a chance if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do, you do. Um, and as for animes based on comic characters, um, the Witchblade, I didn't like. Um, the uh, Dark Child, uh, no, excuse me, um, not Dark Child, the Lady Death uh, anime. Uh, only watched a little bit of it, but from what I saw of it, I liked it. I really have to finish watching that. Um, but like I said, some stuff should be left alone. Um, but then there's some that could probably pull it off. Like, um, I hear that talks of bringing um, Outlaw Star to the big screen as a live action. Now... In my eyes, this might be good be in, in my eyes, okay? This is my opinion. It could be good because this is a sci-fi anime. And there are certain directors and writers out there that do sci-fi great, okay? Um, but there are a lot of animes that um, should be touched in some way. Ak Akira, which was one of my first, the first anime I ever watched. Um, and I had to watch that like three times to really understand what was going on. Because <laughs> the first time I watched it, I caught it way in the end middle. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? Then the second time it came on again, I watched it and uh, I didn't catch it from the beginning again. So I'm still like, okay, I caught it. Here's again, I caught it. And this is when sci-fi still had like anime Saturdays and stuff like that. They would show anime like that. And so finally I said, you know what, screw this. 
So I went to my boy and said, you got a Kira? He said, yeah. Can I borrow it? I watched it. And I was like, oh, wow, this is good. And so, um, that's another movie that's going to be brought. And the way I look at everything is, and I urge these directors and screenwriters and everything, watch the anime. If they have a manga series as well, read the manga. Um, if you can't read it, it's easy. It's not from left to right. It's right to left. Okay? So it's really easy to read. Um, but I do urge them to really sit down and read these things, watch the anime. And don't come up with your own crap and say, oh, this... Be faithful to the creators because Japan is nothing but full of honor, which I love. Hell, I got that name, that word tattooed on my arm because I'm all about honor and respect and loyalty. Those are the three words that are tattooed on my arm. So, so basically, to all those fans, to, to those directors that are bringing all these animes to the big screen, is those three words, honor, loyalty, and respect. You know, don't half-ass anything. Don't do your own, your own. Be faithful to the fans and the people who created this. Because you don't like when, if Japan would mess up something of yours, and you'll have a fit, right? I mean, like, for example, uh, there's a uh, Japanese Spider-Man that they did, a live-action Japanese Spider-Man, and if you don't believe me on that, you can go right to Marvel.com and watch the episodes. And in this, he's not Peter Parker Spider-Man, he's from a planet like, planet that uh, that are people like him, that are like, have spider-like powers, and he has, he fights different monsters, and he has a robot that comes out most of the time to help him when he's fighting the monsters. So, so things like that, you know, but there are great imports from Japan, you know, Bleach, Naruto, you know, DBZ, um, the list goes on, um, there's just so many greats that have been imported to 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 here in the states that came from Japan and are successful and and we've been exporting and importing with this country for so long it's about time that we honor that with making good stuff that are based here that are based in Japan you know, I mean, there are talks of a lot of movies. I'm, I'm, there are buzz all over. I mean, not just for video games, but also anime. Like I said, Cowboy Bebop, Akira, um, um, Outlaw Star, like I said before. Even Trigun, I'm hearing, you know, talks of, you know. And I'm a big fan of Trigun. I love Vash the Stampede, you know. You know, um, just... So basically, guys, as a response to my friend Ziploc, like I said, sit down, really examine the product, the anime, the manga, and be faithful. Like I said, the three words, honor, loyalty, respect. Sit down and do these right instead of half-assing everything and making your own. And that's and and by doing that, you see what happened with Dragon Ball. They half-assed it, bad product, and you got that piece of crap that came out. So other than that, guys, like I said, in terms of the differences, I really can't see any. But I thought I'd just give my response to my friend Ziploc. Uh, Zip, I hope you're happy um, that I. Hope that satisfies you, bro. Um, but like I said, anybody, feel free to give your opinion. As always, feel free to give your request on uh, segments for the opinion spot. Um, up next for the opinion spot, I think now I'll start giving uh, what's coming up next for the opinion spot. Um, I'm going to give basically... 
my opinion on some of my favorite team ups. Favorite team ups. Uh, I'm gonna save, and then after that, you're gonna see me give my opinion on the whole Transformer Legacy period. Okay? So, other than that, uh, stay tuned, keep it real. Much love and respect to everybody out there. This is your boy, Mom Vernon Kid, aka Chris. Just saying peace, one love.